Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Razor. Welcome back to Tales of Fantasia. In the last episode, we continue through Deos's castle. We got here to the save point. I'm gonna go back this way though. I think there's other paths we could take. Actually, I know there was other paths we could take. Probably just gonna flee from the enemies. We don't have Mint right now. I left her behind. We had to leave one of the characters behind. Okay, that just loops around. Yep. Okay, so that's all one path there. Let's go back down here, make sure there was nothing else I passed back here. <laughs> Just jump over. I'm gonna equip the Orb of White Mist. That way I can flee faster. I already have it equipped. I didn't know I equipped it. I'm pretty sure there's paths I didn't go. Oh, that door's locked. And I'll just be speeding up the escape and everything just to get through this. Oh, that leads back down. Hold on. Let's not go that way yet. Okay, this path is locked. Okay, so we've been everywhere so far. Maybe I did go everywhere. But I want to go down a little bit more. Make sure. Yep, there's men. Okay, we're good. So I'll head back to the save point now and We'll probably take on a boss, I guess. Gotta take on the boss of outer, outer, outer healer, which we don't need anyway. Just don't take damage, lol. Let's just get back to where we need to go. It's right over here. Okay. Alright. So let me heal up and everything and then we'll... A crest for a quadrilateral gate sealing spell. Door that can only be opened by the prayers of four people arranged in four opposing directions. Well then how do we get mint back? Holy crap. 
keep over jumping. Do we just go back and grab her or do we need to do something else? Well, I'll go back and see if I can get her. And I'll be right back, I guess. All oh, that mirror that we got. Mysterious mirror. We got this in the last episode. I think we can maybe use that. Oh, oops, I didn't mean to leave some behind. I didn't mean to do that. Let's go ahead and retrieve him. Let's go back to the mirror thing. I'm thinking that's what we gotta do. I don't know though. I didn't I looked it up but I couldn't find anything. Well actually I, I didn't look up about the switch at all yet. I, I was just trying to figure out about the mirror. But yeah, definitely run from the enemies. You don't want to keep fighting these guys. Where was the mirror room at? I forgot. Was it farther back? I didn't think it was this far back. I thought it was recent. Yeah, right here. Okay, it is. We found it starting to glow. Okay, we gotta fight a battle here. Oh, it's a lich. Up your casting. This is like uh, He-Man. I have the power. Maybe this will allow us to advance. With all four, we need all four party members, obviously. They will reflect each other infinitely. Okay. In Rock Mountain. Awesome. Oh, do we have to do this for every single mirror? Yep, looks like we do. Alright, cool. So I think we figured out what we gotta do. And no help from the internet. Oh wow, that's actually... Pretty powerful ability. I could cut out the random encounters, and I usually do that in a lot of my older playthroughs. But, uh, some people like to see the battles, so. Holy crap, a moly. Horrible white miss. Wow, I got one for free. I paid five grand for that. 10,000 gold and some lavender. I think there was one more of these too. If we go back.
Run away. Not worth fighting. Fast away to. They give a lot of a lot of gold, but just those three liches we got, uh, probably like six grand over over six grand. Now where the hell are we at? Okay. Spirit ring. What the hell's a spirit ring? Generates one point of TP. Oh, okay. We've already got one of those. Equip two of them, though. You'll generate two a two TP. And a gener regenerating toilet paper is really good. Because toilet paper is pretty expensive, so. That's a joke. Yeah, 2 TP. Rune bottle. Silver cloak. And a stun bracelet, okay. Moon falks, okay. Let's go this way first. Oh, I think we're back. I think we're we can advance now. Alright, Clark flipped up. Reverse. <laughs> Great. Up, down, left. Right. Okay, so it's up, down, left, right. Up, down, left, right. Down, up. There we go. Knock the hidden path. Oh, a chest. Card the golden key. No clue where the hell to use that at. Oh, there's there are locked doors. Yep, we gotta use one of those locked doors. Right, let's see if we can. If there's any more mirror fights. Am I still on hard? Yeah, okay. I just felt like the game was getting easier. 
That's what I've been feeling lately. But no, it's not any easier than it was. It's, it's the same. <laughs> Those Doom Guards are wild. They just like lunge at you. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Is there any other mirrors? I don't. Oh, there is one here. Oh, but there's not. No battle. Maybe over here in this room there is. Nope. Okay, we'll continue then. We gotta get back to where we have to leave somebody again. I like this castle though. It's pretty, you know, pretty awesome design. Is it as good as Necklord's castle from uh, Suikoden 1? I don't know about that. Because the music in... And Neckward's castle is pretty awesome. Definitely the, but this is definitely the best dungeon we've been in so far. It seems complex, but it's not really complex at all. Um, uh, we'll leave Rosella behind. I'm just fleeing from the enemies anyway. Right, let's get get to one of those locked doors. It's one big hole. I can feel a draft coming up through up through it from the floor below. Okay. And there's another locked door we can open too. Down over this way. Prune. What the hell's a prune? A dried plum used in cooking both sweet and savory dishes. Okay. I mean, I knew what a prune was, but I didn't, like, know what it was in this game. Mango steen. And a melon. This is fruit from a tropical evergreen tree with a citrusy and peachy flavor. A large succulent spherical fruit that's especially refreshing during summertime, yeah. I used to have watermelon all the time, but I haven't had watermelon in a very long time though. There might be There might be one more door that's locked. go back up through here though. This is something about a draft. So I thought it might trigger something back here, but guess not. Alright, let's go find the final lock. There's gotta be one more lock room. Somewhere. Must 
speed it up here though, because I don't want to be here forever. I don't know where, what to do now. I don't see any other lock rooms. That one room said there was something about a draft, but what are we supposed to do? Use an ants uh panacea bottle on her. Now I'm probably definitely gonna have to look up something because I don't know what to do. I think I've opened all the golden doors, I think. Unless there was another one somewhere. Oh, it makes sense. We gotta put arc. We gotta put arc on the switch. Yeah, that actually makes a lo logical sense. That's awesome. I, f I figured it out. I looked it up. <laughs> it actually makes sense. I don't know why I didn't think of arc. She can fly. Duh. Yeah, let's go. We'll, we'll go put arc on the thing. I don't know how you were supposed to know that though. I mean, I mean it makes logical sense like I said, but uh, most people would have got stuck on that I feel. If I didn't look it up, I would have got stuck. I would have never known to do that. No, that's just me being honest. Use a holy bottle by the way, I forgot to use one of those. Yeah, make sure to do the mirror stuff first, though. Okay. Now that she's out, we go to the place where there was a draft. Remember they he said there was a draft? And there we go, now we continue, now we go back to the save point room, and we can finish this area. Very awesome. Well done dungeon, uh, Bandai, Namco. I'm interested to see what other dungeons we got later. Dungeons are really under underappreciated in games, I feel. If you look at a lot of YouTube, there's a lot of all bosses videos. But you don't typically see like all dungeon videos. I've done a, like one of them I think. Or I, 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 did, I think I did one for Final Fantasy 1 and I did an all dungeon video for Swigadin 1 as well. They didn't really get a whole lot of traction so I didn't do any more of them.
Okay. Save it one more time and then we'll continue. And if I have to, I'll grind some more, but I think we're good. I got a boss coming up here, yep. Alright, so... I think we're all set and ready to go. I'm going to have to change the music. Uh, I'm going to put in in for battle theme and, re and replace with a boss theme. And I'm going to be muting, muting the game audio. Is there a way I could just turn off music though? Oh, okay, I could just do that. We could have the sound effects on. There we go. Let's mute the music. And, uh, I'll have the sound effects in the battle. That, that works. Okay, Deos' guard. Alright, let me put on some music here.
All right, there we go. Let me go back and save it. Um. Might as well to the boss. Got 10,000 gold for that boss fight too. That's the way to... That's enough. I should have healed first and then saved it. I'm going to save it again now. I always forget to do that. Always heal first and then save. Oh, I got to do this again. Oh, it's Deos. Prepare yourself. Come here to settle things. Strong lost your nerve. I fight with you. What do you mean? You're trying to destroy the world. We're here to stop you, bro. Is he like I'm? So, I'm so, is he like uh, under control by so, someone, or something? Okay, here we go. Let me put on some more. Uh, sweep it in for battle theme.
Wow. That was an epic boss fight. I lost that boss the first time I battled him. Beat him that time, though, barely. I got lucky. There was It was getting pretty dicey there for a little while, if you saw. But he fled. We got an emerald ring for that battle, too. I don't know what that is. We'll check that out after the, whenever we can. Port to Lundgrum, okay. Not Lindworm, Lundgrum. <laughs> I called Lundgrum uh, Lindworm in one of the episodes. <laughs> yeah, Miss, Mr. Morrison died. From Ed. Who the hell's Ed? Do we know a character named Ed in this? A key? It goes to his house, okay. There was a locked door. Oh, this place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. We met his wife before. Uh, it's Sif. A, she's a proud Valhalland. Nah, that's another game. But that was a epic freaking boss, man. You don't get boss fights like that anymore. Only back in the day. Boss fights that put you on that make you nervous if you're going to win or not. You have to basically keep them stun locked the whole battle or you just lose. So he's studying about time travel, okay. That ability that I was using that I was spamming lightning tiger blades pretty good against the boss because it like, you know, the multi thrust, it like, um, stalls them for a little bit. So you have time to, you know, have your other characters use magic or, uh, heal. Yeah, this game is like... I'm still blown away to this day. Like, I keep playing amazing games. Like, 2024 has been just a year of just playing back to back banger after banger after banger after banger. It's just like, when, is it, when will it ever end? I keep playing amazing games. I don't know what it is. Usually, I play like, usually, I'm playing games like that I'm not really, you know, enjoying that much you know I'm enjoying a little bit but this year I've been enjoying every game that I played this game uh, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth Unicorn Overlord my second favorite game of all time Mas literally a masterpiece um, Aiden Chronicle The only game that I was playing this year that I didn't really enjoy that much was Star Ocean 4. I just liked it a little bit. You know, I didn't... It's not anything amazing. It sucks that my PS5 doesn't work anymore, but... Or else I would continue to play Iodin Chronicle and Star Ocean 4, but... Yeah, just a lot of, a lot of amazing games this year. I wasn't expecting this game to be as good as it was. Like when people talk of the Tales of series, they always talk about Vesperia or Symphonia. Mostly you hear about Symphonia because that's the most popular one. Um, 
but yeah, I think in my opinion Vesperia is Vesperia is better than Symphonia. This is the hot take, but this is my opinion. Like I couldn't put down when I played Tales of Vesperia on 360, I couldn't put it down. I literally played for like 10 hours straight, 10 plus hours straight. Sometimes I'd play it all day. You know, obviously I'd eat and drink and sleep and stuff, but yeah. I'm blown away by this game too. Okay. Goodbye and farewell. Might not be able to return. I think that if we don't find a way to save Yggdrasil. Yeah, that's true. Mana will be lost. We will not be able to deal with Deos. Yep. I wonder how many people thought that after you defeat Deos, the game would be over. Cause I was thinking that, but no, it's we got we got more to do. And that's pretty awesome fighting the. You know, I said at the beginning of this playthrough in episode one, I said that who is that the final boss or something? <laughs> and I think I got it right by accident. I just said it as a joke. I didn't actually know. Like, I'm not even kidding, I didn't know. I don't know what I said yes to, but... Okay. Let's be for Shashimi. Stores a moderate amount of HP, cures poison, okay. Shashimi, I think is what, how you pronounce it actually. Shashimi. Oh, I'm not 100% sure. I also got that emerald ring, by the way. That's what that's all about. This is TB consumption by a third. Oh. That is. Gonna get equipped on Ark immediately. Burning Nation now only d takes 20. That's awesome. I love accessories that lower MP cost and everything because you don't have to use as many. Like in Final Fantasy, like ethers are very valuable. Orange gels aren't near as valuable. So it doesn't really matter as much in this game. So reducing TP cost is better than Final Fantasy, but I still think it's worth equipping that. That way I don't need to use orange gels as much. Alright, I'm going to end the video here. This has been a long episode, I think. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later.